Hi guys and welcome back to our Live for Nights in Life sessions. Um, as you guys know, this is an initiative that was launched by LiveBank to be able to support local businesses and talents, also while keeping you guys at home but safe but entertained. So we've had, as you know, we've been going live every single uh, weekday at 7 p.m. on our Instagram and Facebook page. Uh, we've had several things happening in the past few days and we have a lot of things coming your way as well as well. Uh, so we hope that we're trying, we you know, we're trying our best to keep you as entertained as possible. So we hope that you're enjoying it. Today's session is going to be fun. Um, I hope you guys that you are ready to do some workout. If you're not just, you know, you have some time to go get your workout gear and get ready. If not, don't worry, we'll be saving all our sessions on our IGTV and Facebook page so you can go back and watch it any point you want. As I mentioned, so today we have a very special workout with the Best Body Co. Uh, we have not only one, but two coaches that's going to be joining us today, Olivia and Adam, and they're going to be giving us a very, very, very fun workout. So I think let's just all get to it, right? I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Hi guys and welcome to another session of Live for Nights In. My name is Olivia and this is Adam. We're the co-founders and head coaches at Best Body Co. And we created the original 6 in 4 challenge. And that's a weight loss challenge to lose 6 kilos in 4 weeks. But we also have a heap of other health and fitness programs as well. Thank you so much to Live Bank for giving us this opportunity to share with you and do what we love. Since we've got so much time at home, what better time than to take this opportunity to get moving, get active, and get our sweat on right from the comfort of our very own home. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna take you through a 45 minute full body calorie burning session. So, should we get ready to sweat? Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be hard, guys. All right, so we're gonna begin with our warm up. The warm up's gonna take around five to 10 minutes and we're gonna move through a few mobility drills as well. Yeah, so, so what we're trying to do initially is just to basically get the heart rate, get the muscles nice and warm, and then we're gonna take you through some uh, active mobility drills to open up the joints and the tissues so you're a bit safer when you're doing your exercises. All right, and before we get into the warm up, just remember, we want you to pay attention to what we're saying. We're giving away a pair of Apple AirPods at the end of this live session. So make sure you pay attention and listen up so that you've got the chance to win. All you'll need to do is comment throughout this live. All right, so first up for the warm up, we're gonna start with a 30 second spot job. So what you'll do, you'll just jog on the spot, lift your knees up and then fire up those arms as well. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. So just landing softly on the feet, you don't wanna be thudding. You want to take the pressure with the muscles, so nice and soft. All right, keep going. We're 10 seconds in. We're just going to get the body ready for the main part of today's workout. 10 seconds to go. All right, I hope you guys are working at home. Don't make us do this on our own. All right, three, two, and one. All right, shake it out, catch your breath if you need. We're now gonna move into 30 seconds of kickbacks. So what you'll do, hands on your backside and then kick your heels up to your butt. 30 seconds starts now. So try and keep your eyes and your chest up on this one. Don't look at the floor. You wanna be nice and tall with your posture. I'm getting warm already. Yeah, <laughs> get out of breath. All right, 15 seconds in guys, 15 seconds to go. Gonna get heaps of steps up in this session. Five seconds, three, two, and one. All right, hope everyone's feeling a little bit warmer and a little bit more awake. We're now gonna move into two rounds of some mobility work. So you're gonna do this at your own pace. So five different stretches or warm ups. The first one is the world's greatest stretch. So Adam. So step 
stepping forward with your left leg, you're gonna twist into that left side, rotate, try and look at the top hand, come down, hand down, you're gonna pull your toe up, try and push your back heel into the floor, and then from there, you're gonna step back, and then you're gonna alternate to the opposite side. So hug your knee into your chest, big step forward, hands down on the inside of your thigh, you're gonna twist, try and exhale as you twist, come back down, pull your toe up, and then step back. You're gonna do five reps on each side. So keep moving here. And just remember on these, you try not to hold your breath. Each, each stretch, you're trying to exhale into the stretch. So as you twist, exhale, hold, down twist, pull your toe up, step back. Don't hold your breath. Okay, we're trying to get, get you guys to open up the joints as much as we can. Open up the muscles. Get you guys nice and warm for the workout. Keep going guys. Remember if you're moving a little bit faster or a little bit slower than us, that's okay. But when you've done five reps on each side, you're gonna move into the next exercise. The next exercise is your Cobra to Mountain. So what that looks like is you will walk out into a high plank, come down like a lowering of a tricep push up, bring your chest up, relax your shoulders away from the ears, tuck your toes under, hips come up, into mountain, back into high plank, lower down. Chest up, roll into mountain, and then come back down. All right. So if, if you're struggling with that one, you can also go onto your knees. You don't necessarily have to go on your toes the whole, the whole time. So Cobra to Mountain, if you haven't already started, begin these now. You will do five reps here. That's it. So when you are in this mountain position where Adam is, you want to try to push the heels into the floor and feel that stretch through your hamstring. That's the back of your legs. So five reps of your Cobra to Mountain. Good, that should be about three or four now, Adam. Let's go for one more. All right, after your Cobra to Mountain, you're going to give me five reps of, on each side of your reverse lunge with an upward reach. So you start at the top of your mat, Lunge back, knee into the floor, and reach your arms up toward the ceiling. That's two. So remember on this one, keep your eyes ahead of you. Try not to look down at the floor. You want to reach to the roof with your hands. Try and sink with the lower body. So you can feel, hopefully, the front of the hips. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you squeeze the glutes to the bottom of that stretch. So when you're reaching, squeeze your butt, and then come back up. So back, squeeze your butt, and then come back up. So guys, remember, five reps on each side is 10 reps all together. When you've done that, you'll then move into the next stretch, which is a T-spine rotation. And you will do five reps on each side. So you start in a high plank, rotate up, reach your arm up towards the ceiling, hello, and then come back down, that's one. So same thing on this one, you wanna use your eyes to facilitate the stretch. So Olivia's looking at her hands as she's twisting, she's not looking at the floor, she looks at the arms. As she's rotating, squeezing the belly, trying to squeeze the abs as much as she can. And then remember, exhale into the hardest bit of the stretch. So whenever it's the hardest point, that's when you exhale on that stretch. Down, how many have you got? I've done five, five on each. After that, you've got one more stretch to get warm to complete round one, and that is your shoulder taps. So again, come down to your high plank position, race through your abs, keep your back nice and straight, and then tap each side, opposite hand to opposite shoulder. And you're gonna go for 20 reps, 10 on each side. What you wanna be really careful of, try not to rock. Try to keep as still as you can. So if I put a cup of coffee on Adam's back, you wanna to wanna to have that cup of coffee spill over and burn you, yeah? Don't get burned. We'll burn a lot of calories, but don't burn yourself. Keep the form good. So when you've done that, guys, that's one round. We're gonna do that warm up one more time to make sure that your body is 100% ready. So back in the world together, stretch out them. let's do it. Remember, five and five, five reps of everything. So you try and get in time with us if you can. So we're trying not to go too fast. Tip to left. Hopefully you guys know your left and right. So we have people that don't know their left and right. So step, twist, breathe. Exhale, pull back. Number three. So you should have a little bit of sweat. Your heart rate should be coming up a little bit as well. 
So I'm starting to get a bit of sweat. I don't know if that's Olivia. A little bit. Should be feeling good. One more exercise. Whew, feel like I'm almost ready. So, last one. Breathe, twist, pull. Next up, you move into five reps of your Cobra to Mountain. So, Adam and Demo, just a few. Walking out, lower your chest to the floor, come up, big deep breath. Yep. Exhale, come to your mountain, just like a pike, and then come back down to the floor. Like a tricep push up on the lower rib phase, drop to your knees if you need to. Five reps here. Don't, don't forget you can do it on your knees if this one's hard. So I'll just show you on the knees. If you want to do a push up on the knees, come down and push up, keep your hips on the floor. Should be at number four or five now, guys. After your Cobra to Mountain, you'll move into your reverse lunge. All right, so five reps on each side with an upward reach. So same thing, keep your eyes forward, big reach with the arms, squeeze the butt at the bottom of the lunge. So big steps. The deeper you go on this one, the harder it is. So if you're struggling with stability or you've got a bit of knee pain, just don't go as deep on this one. All right, when you've done five on each side of your reverse lunge, come back down to the floor for your T-spine rotation. How's everyone feeling out there? Oh. Give us a like or a heart if you're feeling warm, yeah? If you feel like you're ready to smash today's full body calorie burn. One more stretch after your T-spine rotation and that is your shoulder taps. So in a high plank, brace your abs. 20 reps guys, let's do it. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, woo! All right. Should be hot. Awesome job, guys. That's your warm up done. So, if you need to wipe down that sweat like we do, we'll take have, a drink of water. Have a drink or wipe the sweat. Then get ready for the main part of today's workout. So, Adam and I will explain the main part of today's workout. It goes for 20 minutes, and then you'll get a recovery after that. It's a 20 minute EMOM, which means every minute on the minute, you need to complete the exercise that we give you for 15 reps. That's the number of reps that you'll be doing of each exercise today. So if you finish the reps early, then you get a bigger rest. Yeah, if you don't finish, sorry, you move straight on to the next one, okay? So Adam's gonna demonstrate the exercises and I'll talk you through it. The first, in the first minute and the first exercise, we'll do 15 reps of prisoner squats. So all you're gonna do is just hands behind your head. If you've got some sort of shoulder pain or impingement, you can bring them out in front, preferably behind your head on this one. And all you're going to do is try to come down to parallel, so as close as you can get to parallel as you can. So coming down controlled and pushing up, squeeze your butt at the top. And then always on, whenever you're doing a squat, your knees track out. So they never go on the inside. You wanna push your knees out as much as you can. So you'll do 15 reps and you'll get those done. You will get those done in one minute. Remember, if you finish early, take a rest. If you don't, we'll tell you when the next minute is up and you move to the next exercise. So we all move to the next exercise together. The second exercise is your beast position shoulder taps. So what you'll do, come down to the floor on all fours. Your knees should just be about an inch or so away from the floor. Flat tabletop. And I'm gonna show you from the side actually. Brace your arms and from here, tap the shoulders. You've got 15 reps on each side. Keep it as simple, 15 all the time. One, two, three, four, five, six, get to 15, all right? So that's your option. If you get tired, drop to the floor, shake it out, and then come back in. After that, in your third minute, you'll move to lateral lunges. 15 reps on each side if you can. It's tough to get done, but it is possible. So for your lateral lunge, you'll need lots of space. I was not sure. That's right. Right, shoot across the side, lateral lunge, that's one, two, three, that's it, four. So 15 reps on each side means you get 30 reps done and try to get that done in a minute. Chest up, you basically keep one leg straight and one leg should be bent. So the inside of your leg, you should be feeling a bit of a stretch on the inside if you want to try and drive 
that knee laterally, so on the outside of the leg as much as you possibly can. Pretending to keep your chest up, so you want to be tipping forward when you're doing it. You don't want to be forward this way, you want to be here. So pretend you're holding a cup of water. You want to keep that cup full, you want to tip it out, so keep it up. Yeah. Your fourth minute and your fourth exercise will be tricep push-ups. So you'll do these on the floor. If you're a beginner, you can take the option to do these on your knees. If you're advanced, Adam will demonstrate the advanced version. 15 reps of your tricep push-ups. So see, I'm demonstrating the beginner option on your knees. In your tricep push-up, make sure the elbows don't come out wide. You want your elbows corkscrewed in towards your body. Yeah? 15 reps there. And then your final exercise is your Russian twist. So, you'll be sitting on your butt, chest up. You can have your feet on the floor, which is a bit easier, or your feet up off the ground, which makes it a bit higher or harder. And then rotate side to side. 15 reps on each is 30 reps altogether. One, two, three, four, so on and so forth. So, does that make sense, guys? Give us a like. If you agree or if it all makes sense to you, and we're gonna get into the main part of the workout now, which means you guys are working for 20 minutes non-stop unless you earn your recovery by finishing the reps. All good, guys? Okay, Adam, you good? I'll talk you guys through it. I'll be your timer today. First minute, first exercise, prison squats, and we begin in three, two, and one. You've got one minute to give me 15 reps. When you're done early, Stop, rest, hydrate if you need, and then get onto the next exercise when I call your second minute. We're 15 seconds in so far. How many reps, Adam? 11. Good, you're gonna smash 12. it. 14. Nice one. So we're 25 seconds in now, guys. Keep going. If you haven't finished your reps, you've still got plenty of time. Just take so your time, guys. It's not, it's not a race, but just make sure you're doing correct technique. It's always better to be safe, do it correctly, than try and rush through it. And remember, because it's a 20-minute EMOG and there are five exercises, you're going to complete four rounds in total. One minute per exercise, four rounds. You've got 15 seconds to go, guys. Hopefully, most of you have finished by now. So enjoy the rest. In 10 seconds, we get on to the next exercise, which is your beast position shoulder taps. So come down on the floor. We begin in three, two, and one. Remember, 15 reps on each side. Brace your abs, keep your body nice and still. Woo! 15 seconds in, guys. I've hit my 30. It's 30. All right, good, nice one, Adam. How about you guys? So hopefully everyone's close to finishing, but remember, take your time. If you need to, you can modify. So if you're really struggling on that one, you can do it with your knees on the ground. You don't have to do knees off. So we'll give you options to make it a little bit easier if you're struggling with this one. You've still got 20 seconds to go if you haven't finished already. If you have, don't speed up onto the next exercise. Take the rest because you're going to need it. As every round goes by, it gets harder and harder to keep up with the timing. You've got 10 seconds, guys, and then get ready to move into your next exercise, which is your lateral lunge, 15 reps. In three, two, and one. So, third exercise, third minute of work. All right, so eight, nine, ten. Keep going, guys, 15 seconds in. Remember, you've got to give us 15 reps on each side, which is 30 reps all up, okay? It's a lot to get through. If you want to make it more challenging, try to get that lateral lunge position a little bit lower and try to keep your chest up. 25 seconds to go, guys. Whew, is it hard to hear or what? Is that I say on? <laughs> 15 seconds to go, guys. Good. Well done to you guys at home. You've already finished. If not, you've still got 10 seconds. All right. Eight seconds, then we're back into the next exercise, which is tricep push-ups. Starting in three, two, and one. 15 reps. Look at Adam speeding up ahead of me. Not to hurt it or anything. If you guys are doing this at home with a friend or a loved one, don't be too competitive, or maybe you want to, and that'll help you push through. So I had to get it, get it done quick. So ripping, ripping a bandaid off, just get it done. 
Keep going, guys. You're only 25 seconds in so far, so you've still got time. I didn't finish my reps, so I'll finish them off. 30 seconds to go, guys, to complete your reps. So just remember on this one, you want to try and keep your elbows. They should be grazing the inside of your ribs on this one. So if that's still a little bit too hard, you can do normal push-ups to go out a little bit wider on that one. Woo! 15 seconds to go, guys. 15 seconds to rest if you're done. Then you move into your fifth and final exercise, which is Russian twists. Get ready to go in three, two, and one. 30 reps, guys, 15 each. So if you want to make this one a little bit easier, you can put your feet, so the further you lean back on this one, the harder it is. How many you got? Uh, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30. Woo. Keep going guys. Alright, 20 seconds and we're done. How about you guys? Keep going guys. Remember, work at your own pace. This is your workout, so you choose your intensity. You choose and just see how, you, yeah, how your body feels, yeah? We've got 25 seconds to go to complete your Russian twists and then we'll move straight into round two, okay? So you might be starting to get a little bit more tired and that's okay. Most of you would have finished those exercises done within the time, okay? You should, you should be sweating, guys. If you're not sweating, and you're, you're probably taking a little bit too easy. So you want to make sure Five you're pushing yourself as well. Prisoner squats begin in three, two, so and head one. The head. Round down. two, guys. Big chest. Try not to hold your breath. You want to exhale as you come back up. Keep going, guys. You're only 15 seconds in. Plenty of time. Ooh, my legs are feeling it. Ooh. So when you're done, just shake your legs out a little bit. Ooh. Ah, halfway, guys. 30 seconds. You've got 30 seconds left to complete your reps. Now remember, if you want to scale that back if you're already getting tired, you can put your hands across your chest. If you want to make it harder, you can make the plyometric jump squat. Okay? So jump up, land in a squat. That's your option. Take it with us, take it up, take it down. You choose. You have 10 seconds to get into the next exercise. Beast position shoulder taps, Adam. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go, tap it out. 15 reps on each side. Remember, try not to rock. Engage your core. You should be feeling this not only through your abdominals, but through your shoulders as well that should be taking the heat. 15 seconds down, guys. Whew, how many reps, Adam? 30. Snailing it. You've got 40 seconds to go, everybody. Keep it up. So That's remember on this one, if you're struggling, just bring your knees down. You don't have to be so like Olivia's doing at the moment. She's on her knees. She's trying to keep her torso as straight as she possibly can. So on all these exercises, you want to focus on posture. Posture is probably one of the most important things. So whatever way you do your exercise in these workouts, the way your body's going to adapt. 15 so seconds. Whenever you do these exercises, you'll be nice and big and tall when you do the exercise. Ooh, it's hot. Five seconds, guys. You're doing really well. Stay with us, yeah? Get ready to go. Lateral lunges in three, two, okay. and one. Cool. And I'm just going to demonstrate from the side angle. 15 reps on each side of your lateral lunges. How are we doing, guys? Still with us? Remember, if you're finding this easy, you can always find ways to challenge yourself by going faster, giving us more range, or taking a more progressed version of the exercise. Halfway, guys, 30 seconds to go. How many, Adam? 20. Almost there. You've got 20 seconds to give me the remaining 10 reps. Woo! Doing well, guys. 15 seconds to go. Let's get those reps in. 10 seconds. Five seconds, and then you're going to move into your tricep push ups in three, two, one. Let's go now. 15 reps of tricep push ups. Remember guys, take a break and shake it out whenever you need. We're only 20 seconds in so far. Whew. 
Whew. Halfway, guys. 30 seconds. Wiping off that sweat. How you doing? Struggling. Whew. Struggling, but it'll be worth it, guys. I promise. You've got 20 seconds to go. All right, guys. Remember, if you're feeling faint or whatever and you need to just take time, take time. Come back when you're ready. We've got 10 seconds. Now we move into the fifth and final exercise for round two, which is your Russian twist. Get ready to go in three, two, one, Russian twist. Remember, the more you rotate through your torso towards your hips, the harder it is. The more you engage your core and your obliques. Ooh. 20 seconds in, guys. So you should feel this burning Ooh. through the front of the abs, through the front of the hips as well. All right, how are we doing so far? We've got 30 seconds to go to complete this round, okay? Doing well. On well, the good news or the bad? We're only at the halfway mark, guys. You've got 10 minutes left to go, okay? So, hydrate, do whatever it is you need to do. Give us a wave or a thumbs up or whatever if you're okay. 10 seconds, back into round three. First exercise, prisoner squats. Five seconds and we're off. Three, two, one. Remember, option, if you're getting too fatigued, you can take your hands in front of the body. If you're intermediate, Take the option with Adam, hands behind your head. Want to push it a little bit extra for your third round? You can go into plyometric squats. Woo, legs on, fire. Woo. Keep going, guys. You're about 30 seconds in. You've got 30 seconds to go. Woo, it's getting harder, huh? Oh, this sweat's increasing. Yeah. Who wrote this program? It was us. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. You guys have 20 seconds left to go. All right, so what you'll find is that each and every round you'll have less and less time to recover. 10 seconds before you move into your beast position shoulder taps. Five seconds. So remember guys, option to do it on the knees if you're struggling. If Three, you're a position. two, one, let's go. Keep going, guys. Remember, don't do this. All right, let's see, Saul. We're not rocking it out. Keep your body nice and still. All right, 20 seconds down, guys. 40 seconds to go. It's really it's 30, good. 30. 30? 30, 30 done, 30. nice. All right, guys, keep going. You've got 30 seconds left to get the reps in. All right? You guys are smashing it so far. To tag your workout buddy. If your workout buddies should be working out with you, tag them on there as well. And if they're not here, why are they not here? Make sure they're here for tomorrow's live session with Luke Band, yeah? 15 seconds, guys. 10 seconds to go. Next exercise is your lateral lunge. And we begin in five, four, three, two, one, go. Playing a game, we're mirroring each other. Are you guys mirroring us too? Who, who can get there first? I hope you're counting. Can't count. Can't count and talk. All right, keep going, guys. We're about 20 reps in. Adam's about 20 reps in. Remember, it's 30 reps all together, 15 each. 30 seconds down, guys. 30 seconds to go. Woo. The thing about live workouts is. There's no hiding, okay? We're all in this together. You guys got it. 15 seconds to go to finish your reps or to enjoy the recovery. Whew. I'm sure all our clients are enjoying seeing us suffer and sweat right now, but hopefully you guys are suffering along with us with a smile. Three, two, one. Tricep push-ups, guys. Next minute is on. Every minute on the minute, we begin together. <laughs> Doing well, guys. 20 seconds here. 
Feel free to critique our technique because you think it's not good. We're happy. Halfway, guys, 30 seconds to go. Woo! It's getting hot in here. 20 seconds left, guys. 20 seconds to nail these reps. Your next exercise after this is your Russian twists. Get ready to go in 10 seconds. So set yourself up. All right, guys, let's burn that core in three, two, one. Let's go, Russian twist. 15 on each side, guys. If you haven't tried to take your feet up off the floor and you really want to challenge yourself today, lift those little feet up off the floor. Or in Adam's case, his giant size 14 feet. That's it, right, 14? 14. He never finds his size shoes at the stores here, so. Yeah, but don't sell them into buy. So if you guys have some size 14s to donate to him, feel free. Just kidding. 25 seconds, guys. 25 seconds in, 35 seconds to go. How are you doing? It's hard, yeah? Thank you. This recovery, you've got one more round to get through, okay? So we're just under 15 minutes of work in now. It's a 20 minute watt. You'll have five minutes to go. In 15 seconds, your fourth and final round, okay? 10 seconds. Prisoner squats first up. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. So the legs should be burning on this one. They are, trust me. Ooh. So you should feel this one. Woo! Front of the thighs, inside the thighs. I'm going to fight as well on this one. 15 reps done. 30 seconds in. 30 seconds rest. Or if you're still going through reps, keep powering through. Still have time. Woo! You know what's next? Beast, beast position shoulder taps. Okay? Be a beast, guys. Push through it. On the floor, you're going to get this one done in 15 seconds. Don't go yet. All right, 10 seconds. And we're in it together, guys. Home stretch. Four exercises in four minutes. Almost there, guys. Just push right to the end. In three, two, one. Beast it out. Oh, we're in sync. Done, Salas. Good. 25 seconds in, guys. 35 seconds left to go, okay? I don't know how I'm gonna do this uh, tricep push-ups. You can do it, it's the last one, guys. The last time you are gonna be pushing up for us today. All right, 25 seconds rest. Still got a bit to go. Roll it out, shake it out if you need. Ooh, it's too much 15 seconds, guys, almost there. Start talking to the muscles, yep. get them ready. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Push it up. You know something that I do, a little trick that I use to get stronger? If you can't do all 15 reps in the advanced version or doing mm. tricep push-ups on your toes, you can always do as many as you can on your toes, and then when you need to, scale it back to something a little bit less advanced, okay? So you can go from toes into your knees, rest, and that's a great way to help you guys get stronger over time. Halfway, 30 seconds to go. And your last one is your Russian twists. All right, 20 seconds left. All right, I know you guys might be feeling pretty tired now, so don't worry, you're gonna get a one to two minute rest after this and we explain the next part of the workout, okay? 10 seconds, but don't leave just yet, okay? We're not yet done, and you have to listen up for the mystery question and the mystery answer for your chance to win those Apple AirPods, right? All right, let's go. Last exercise, guys, last minute of work. Let's do it, Adam, Russian twist. Go, go, go. 30 reps. We missed the for lunch. We missed one, guys, that's okay, we'll come back to it. We, should, we need someone to comment and tell us what we missed. I know, guys. What are we doing wrong? Maybe that's the secret question. Hey, we're human, right? This is live. So we all make mistakes. And you guys just 
witness down the stage, but that's okay, keep going. Well, we can, 30 we can, seconds. You can always make up for it. Woo. How you doing, Dan? Right on lunch. All right, sorry guys, I lied, I made a mistake. We've got one more minute of work and one more exercise which we missed. If you guys did the correct order of exercises, well done to you, okay? Otherwise, do the exercise you haven't done. The one we missed with your lateral lunges. All right, 10 seconds. Get ready to go in five, four, three, two, and one. Now this really is the last minute, guys. 15 reps on each side. Just remember on this one, guys, you want to keep your chest up, keep your eyes forward, don't look at the floor. You want to look straight. Almost halfway, guys. Almost 30 seconds up. You've got 30 seconds to go. How many reps, Adam? Should be counting. <laughs> Come on, guys, keep count, okay? We're almost there. 20 seconds left. Your recovery is coming up. All right? Woo. 15 seconds, everybody. Last 10. Keep going, guys, to the end. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Air high five. All right, guys, well done. Take a rest, towel down if you need to. Make sure you stay hydrated, and that's going to help you with your recovery and your performance because we're not yet done. All right, so take a breather. Next up, we've got 10 minutes more at work. So please, please, please stay with us, okay? And I haven't yet even revealed the secret question and the answer yet, which you'll have to listen up for. So, 10 minutes of work, we have a core workout and a finisher. The first block is gonna be a bit of core and conditioning. Okay, so we have a six minute AMRAP, and that means as many rounds as possible. There are three different exercises that you will get done, okay? So Adam and I will demonstrate these exercises for you whilst you recover, and then I'll let you know when the six minute arm wrap begins. The first exercise is your squat jumps with a floor touch, okay? So what that looks like is nice wide sumo squat position, come down, squat, touch the floor if you can reach, jump up with explosive power. Just ten, 10 reps, yeah? Yeah. You've got 10 reps here. Okay, try to take as little rest as you can when you do this exercise and you move into the next one. The next exercise is mountain climbers. So Adam, if you want to demo this one. So mountain climbers, guys, knees up to the elbows, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to do ten reps on each side. So Adam just demonstrated half. You're going to do ten reps on each, which is twenty reps all together. Okay, that's one set. And your third exercise is butterfly crunches. So feet in, heels together, knees drop out like a frog or a butterfly to the side. And from here, crunch up and touch your toes or reach out beyond your toes or beyond your feet if you can reach. 10 reps of your butterfly crunches. Now, if that hurts your lower back for whatever reason, okay, you can do regular thoracic crunches instead. So with your thoracic crunches, you bring the knees in together, heels on the floor, hands underneath your lower back, and you want to imagine you're crushing your hands underneath you, okay? So there should be pressure on your hands as you activate and engage your core. 10 reps as your modification exercise. All good? So guys, let's begin this six minute arm wrap now. I will count you guys in as many rounds of those three exercises in sequence as you can, okay? Six minutes of work, guys, and then I'll get you a recovery after that. Adam, you good? Good. Let's do it, guys. First exercise is your squat jumps to floor touch. And we start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Six minutes of work, okay? Six minutes. First up, 10 squat jumps with a floor touch. When you've done your squats, move into the next exercise, which is your mountain climbers. So guys, you go at your own pace. You don't have to rush through every single exercise. Just go make sure your technique's good on all these exercises. So you don't have to follow our pace, guys. You can go faster. Some men, you can also go slower, okay? You choose. After your mountain climbers, 10 on each side. 
move to your butterfly crunches or your thoracic crunches, okay? Adam will demo butterfly, I'll demonstrate thoracic. Well, on the way up, you want to try and exhale. So, you're going to dive right here, you want to expel all the air, crush the ribs to your pel pelvis on here as far as you can go forward. All right, I'm one done. As soon as you get one round done, guys, move straight into your second round, okay? Just 75 seconds in so far, so you still have a little bit of time to go, just under five minutes. Keep going, guys. When you're done, go straight back to the first exercise. You go squat jumps with a floor touch for 10, and then go into mountain climbers, and then go into your crunches. Climbs next. Whew. Almost two minutes. Almost two minutes in, guys. Keep it up. I know it's hard. I don't call it a core finisher for nothing. It's to finish you up, yeah? Good, guys. So try to bring your knees up as close to your elbows as you can. If you need to scale it back and take an option, you can always just step forward, place your toe on the floor, and step back, yeah? That's your option if you need to take it a little bit easier today. I don't mind what you guys do, guys, as long as you stay with us and as long as you keep going, cool? Moving on to the third exercise after your mountain climbers, it's your butterfly crunch or your T-crunch, yeah? Two and a half minutes in, guys. Keep up the good work. Oh, ten. Moving to round two. Or oh, round three for me. Or oh, round three. <clears throat> if you guys can beat me, you can get to round four, round five, as many as you can. Three minutes in, guys, halfway, okay? Keep up the good work. Remember, if you need to stop and take a break at any point, that's okay. Take a drink whenever you need, okay? Wipe down that sweat so you don't slip whenever you need. Just over three minutes in so far. Whew. How's everyone doing at home? Should be, should be struggling. Hopefully, you should be struggling. sweating. You should be breathless. Remember, they call this a full body calorie burn for a reason because you are torching a whole heap of calories. If you've got some sort of fitness tracker or device on, I want you guys to tell us. Send us a message. Comment. How many calories have you burned so far? What's your heart rate at? All right, keep going, team. Doing really well. We're about four minutes in. You have two minutes left to go. Two, two minutes left, guys. Last two minutes. Whew. The legs are on fire, man. All right. Round four, Adam, round five. I think it's four. Alright, tell, tell me how, how many I've done. Have you guys been keeping count? Because <laughs> I can't count and talk. Keep going, you know, men, sometimes I find it difficult to multitask like us women can. Just kidding. Alright, guys, we've got 90 seconds left, okay? Four and a half minutes in now. I feel like it's four. Again. I feel like it's four. Almost there. Good. Doing well. Guys, you've got one minute left, okay? One minute. Try to get me one more round in that minute. Keep going. Get a few more in. Come on guys, drum roll, this is it. You've got just about 30 seconds left, okay? 30 seconds of work, go for it. Finish strong, finish as one team together, okay? Whew. You made the time to dial in, to tune in, all right? Make this workout worth your while. Last 20 seconds.
Last 10. Finish it off, guys. Last five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Amazing, guys. Well done. How's everybody feeling at home? Are you hot and sweaty like us? Hopefully, yeah? All right, take the next one minute or so to catch your breath and recover. We're still not done, guys, but this is where I want you to really pay attention. Okay, so now we have four minutes left of work, okay? So we have a Tabata circuit. So in Tabata, it's four minutes, and you're gonna do one exercise for 20 seconds of work on, and 10 seconds of work off. You're gonna repeat that for the full four minutes. So if you do the math, that's eight rounds in four minutes. Can you guess what exercise it is? Burpees. Of course, how can we finish this workout without burpees? We have to get it done, okay? Burpees are one of the single most effective exercises for full body conditioning. And everybody hates them, so that's why we're doing them, okay? So just a quick recap in case you don't remember what a burpee is, Adam, show us what you got. One burpee, guys, drop your chest to the floor, jump in with two feet, jump up, clap if you want. Clap and make some noise if you want, okay? That's one burpee. So we're gonna do this for a continuous four minutes. You guys good to go? We're gonna do it with you, okay? All right, your Tabata. Your Tabata circuit, your four minutes starts in five, four, three, two, one. Go, 20 seconds. Now guys, in this circuit, I want you to try to aim to get at least five burpees. Five burpees in 20 seconds, okay? So if you multiply that out by eight rounds, how many burpees you got? Three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds recovery. So five burpees times eight rounds. That's your answer for today's question. Comment on how many burpees in total. Begin now, round two, go. Tabata begins, next 20 seconds. Round two. Ten seconds down, guys. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Ten seconds rest. Two rounds down. We've got six to go. Adam, you're good to go. Round three. Three, two, one, go. Burpees again. Woo! Remember guys, I challenged you to get five burpees minimum in 20 seconds. Times five rounds. Sorry, times eight rounds. Five burpees times eight rounds is 40 burpees. Comment below how many burpees I want you to get done. Rest. How you doing? Struggling. Three, two, one, go. This is your fourth round, guys. Five seconds to go, keep going. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. Sorry guys, you're halfway. Get ready to go, round five. In three, two, one, go. You might be slowing down, but that's okay. Just keep going, it's not easy, I know. Five seconds to go, team. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh, it's really, really sweaty now. Next level sweat. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds to go, come on. Come on, Adam. Come on, you guys at home. Stay on it. Three, two, one. We're not done. Struggle ten. Yes, it is. But you got this. Five. Go, 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 go. Last minute, guys. Last two rounds of work. Burpees. Remember your option. If, you're getting, if it's getting too much, come down, step out into a stepping sprawl instead if the burpees get too much. This is your option. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. Round eight. 
Have you guys got one more for us? Yeah, you do. Get ready to go. Fucking last, guys. We'll do it together. Let's go now. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Last 20 seconds of first team. Finish off the Tabata. Get me to minimum 40 burpees. Four zero. Apple AirPods up for grabs. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Let's try and breathe through the belly, guys. Struggle, struggle. Well done, guys. You are amazing. Remember, hydrate, guys. Recovery is just as important as your training. Okay, you guys smash that workout. But be sure to eat well and hydrate well and get enough sleep as well, which is going to help to boost your immune system through this time. Before we go, Adam's going to take us through a cool down so you can get your heart rate back down, catch your breath. <laughs> Yeah, so let's do this. All right, so I might struggle with my breathing, but just bear with me as I do it. So it's very authentic. So what I want you to do is lying on your back. The left leg's gonna be straight. Pull your right leg behind your knee. And I want you to keep your bottom leg straight. So try and rest your head down. Pull your leg up as far as you can. Remember, don't cheat. Don't bend that leg, you wanna keep it straight. And I'll get you guys to swap. So just gently release. Pull back. Remember on these, you want to breathe into the stretch, so don't hold your breath. So just hold for the five, four, three, two, one. So next one you're going to do, is you're going to bend your right leg across, and you're going to hug your left leg in. So this one you're going to feel on the outside of your thigh, close to your butt. So just pulling in on here. Same thing, nice deep breaths as you're doing it. You're going to release, so swap, pull the other leg in. And just hug it in, just let that high rate come down. Alright, so next one you're going to have both legs straight. You're going to pull your right leg across your body. Just put your arm out across and you're going to look away from your leg. So if you're bending this leg through here, you're looking away. That's it. going to swap, so go to the other side. Same thing, arm out, pull across. So you're trying to look away on this one. Try and pull that knee down as much as you can. So the next one, you're going to come up. Actually, sorry, we'll do that again. So we're going to get you guys lying on your side. The next one's going to be a quad stretch. So I want you guys posing like you're posing for a photo shoot with your arm behind your head. <laughs> Bend to the ground. And then you're going to pull that leg back. So try and get your heel to touch your butt on here. You want to make it harder, pull that leg up a little bit and pull it back as well. And then you're going to swap sides. So you're going to swap. Same thing, it's like you're posing for that photo shoot. Pull that leg back. Now I want you guys up here. So we're going to have both feet in. So it's like you're going to do your butterfly crunch again. But on this one, you're going to try and pull your feet in as much as you can, try and push your, your knees down with your elbows on the inside of your thighs or your calves. And then if you can, try and kiss your shoes or get your head down as close as you can to the shoes. So Olivia's a little bit more flexible than me. That's it. Let's get it down. Go, 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 go. go. That's it. I do like these shoes. <laughs> Not enough to kiss them. That's it. It's good. So we're almost there, guys. So we've got a couple more to go. So what I'm going to get you guys to do now, you're going to go into like your push-up position. So from here, what you're going to do is keep your hips on the ground. I want you to push your chest up as high as you can. Try and keep your hips on the floor. Try and look up. Now on this one, I want you to try and look over your left shoulder and try and look at your left heel. So look over your shoulder. Now just slowly bring your head back and you're going to go over the right shoulder. Head back to the middle, chin up to the roof. And you're going to come into like a child pose. So on this one, you're flexible, knees out. Want your hands forward, try and get your chest on the floor. Now 
Second last one, guys. So you're going to try and stretch out the back through here. So both hands to the left. You're going to try and pull the floor to your right. So you should feel it behind the right shoulder blade. Just pulling back. Now you're going to swap sides. Just gently just come across. Same thing. Try and get your butt down. Pull your arms back across. And the heart rate should be down now, guys. Awesome, guys. We hope you're feeling amazing and energized after that session. Don't forget, if you are listening and watching and working out with us throughout today's session, remember, I wanted you guys to aim for eight sets of a minimum of five reps of burpees, which gives you X amount of burpees in total. Comment that number and you could be in the draw to win a pair of Apple AirPods, yeah? Thank you so much for joining us for today's session. If you enjoyed today's workout, we've got free at-home workouts that you can do similar to this. If you go to our website or see our link in bio at, Bosch, at Best Body Co on Instagram, you can download a free training program or you can download this workout so you can do it at any time you want, um, whenever you would like to. Uh, we also have live virtual workouts called BB Co at Home starting next week which you guys can tune into as well to help keep you motivated, staying fit, active, and healthy from your home. Um, but until then, guys, thank you for joining us. Tune in again to Live Bank tomorrow for the next live session, which is all about beauty and grooming. Thank you so much, guys. I'm Olivia. This is Adam, and we'll see you guys around. See you guys. Whew. Okay guys, so I did not join in the workout today, but I was definitely keeping track of what they were doing, uh, both Adam and Olivia. So I think that I will definitely do this workout tomorrow morning because I am more of a morning workout person. I prefer to do my workouts in the morning. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. I hope that you guys though enjoyed it and I hope that you got a little bit more excited about working out because, you know, we're all sitting at home right now, most of us at least, and we need to stay healthy and stay fit in, at one point or in some way. Um, anyways, I think that's everything we have for today. Don't miss out on our video tomorrow. Again, every weekday at 7 p.m. on our Instagram and Facebook pages. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking all about self-care. So stay tuned with us. Bye.